Hi guys, it's Ray from Euro Football. As you can see, we're at the home of the Etihad Stadium, the home of the Premier League champions, Manchester City. For all those winners and also all those people who've been invited on the tour next year, you're going to be here live with me and the coaches, with all the Euro Football star staff live. Also, we can guarantee this time next year, you're going to get to visit Man City for a Premier League game and also for a Champions League game. How exciting is that? We'll be in touch, guys. Thank you. The boys are ready on stage. You guys just need to keep looking at the TV screens. <laughs> <laughs> Hello to everyone, it's a pleasure to be here, I'm absolutely yours. Pep, thanks for coming, big surprise. Pep, what makes Man City, in, in your opinion, so special? Please tell us why. But it's special because uh, work here is a, a, a pleasure. So everybody make an incredible contribution to, to make our job better. But especially, especially the fans. Alright, well we've got two fans on stage. What's important, Pep? The Maybe I'm not the right guy to answer this question. Ah. They can answer better than me. Sorry, do you want to tell Pep what's important to the fans? <laughs> we want gold, gold, gold! <laughs> oh, beautiful. I like that. And uh, what do you say, sir? What do you want to say 
Oh, we want to win, win, win. <laughs> now, Pat, you've been at Man City for about as long as I have, about seven years nearly. I feel at home. These guys from Oz feel at home in Bangalore. Do you feel at home? Definitely. Manchester, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, will be part of the rest of my life. I, I feel absolutely Mancunian, and not only myself, my family included, so uh, it's perfect. I, I feel beloved. <laughs> Thank you, it's been a pleasure. So now it's time we take some pictures. All right, cameras uh, stop rolling. Aren't you? So what I'm gonna... We remember the work, commitment and belief that has brought us to where we are today. At the end of the 19th century, Manchester was the industrial heartland of the United Kingdom. The parishioners of St. Mark's Church, inspired by the work of the Connell family, believed that forming a football club would do something to alleviate conditions within their local community. As the team developed, success on the pitch quickly followed. And it... After 10 years, the team won their first trophy, the 1904 FA Cup, and returned home to a parade through the city, the likes of which had never been seen before. The anticipation and excitement was palpable. The streets were filled with thousands of people, young and old, from every background, all of them there, together. It's the cup final, the greatest match of them all. Manchester kick off. Trump was down, he's injured, but the crowd can see his neck is hurting badly. Trump was game as ever, injured or not, he's determined to pull his weight. With the arrival of Joe Mercer in July 1965, Manchester City would embark on a period of unprecedented success. In 1968, the club were crowned league champions again and followed this with two further domestic trophies in the FA Cup and League Cup. During this time, under the management of Joe Mercer and assistant Malcolm Allison, the club also secured its first European trophy, the Cup Winners' Cup. After 44 years, we witnessed a moment in history, the likes of which we may never see again. And following their relaunch in 2014, success for our women's team quickly followed with victory in the FA WSL Continental Cup. The path we have travelled, our heart and soul. Together we build for the future, for the players, for the fans and for the community.